For this video, I'd like to discuss the idea of finding the slope of a line when it's passing through two unique points. So essentially, we're given these two points, and if we connect them with a line, we want to find out what the slope of that line is. So to do this, let's first plot these two points on a coordinate axis. And you can see this point 2 comma 3, we go over 2 in the x direction and up 3 in the y direction. Remember the first coordinate is always x and the second is always the y value. And then we go to this pink point here, we have 0 comma 1, so it's 0 in the x direction, that's along the y axis, and then just up 1 for the y value. So we have these two points and now we can essentially connect them with a line. So let's do that really quick. And now that we have this line, let's think about what the slope of this line is. So recall that slope, which we usually use the letter M to denote, is simply defined as how much does the line rise divided by how much it goes left or right, which we call the run. So slope is always this ratio, this fraction, of how much the function goes up or down divided by how much the function goes left or right. So essentially between these two points we're looking at how much did the function go up from one point to the next and then how much did the function go over from one point to the next. So to do that we can just count. It looks like it goes up one then two so it goes up two units and that's in the positive direction. And then we're going to the right, it looks like one unit and two units. So it looks like plus two to the right. So our slope here, our m, is our rise over our run. And we go up two and we go over two. And two divided by two is simply one. So the slope of this line is simply equal to one. So now that we've seen kind of a specific example of how to find the slope between two points that are connected by a line. Let's think about this more generally and see if we can come up with some kind of formula so that if you give me any pair of points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, that I can always find the slope between those two points without having to go through and draw this picture and think it through every time. So let me clear some space here and we're essentially gonna consider the points x1, comma, y1, and the point x2 comma y2 and we're going to plot these somewhere on a coordinate plane so let me draw a quick coordinate axis and with this coordinate plane let's plot these two points and we're going to plot them generally and just to make things simple I'm just going to plot them in the first quadrant so that everything's positive but this general pattern will work if the points were anywhere on the coordinate plane so let's say that this is our blue point, this x1 comma y1, so that's this point here. So this will be an x value of x1, we'll say, and this is a y value of y1. And now let's plot that second point here in pink, and we'll just say it's up here at an x value, let's say it's a little bit over, at x2 and a y value at y2. And we want to connect these points with a line going through them. And with this line, we'll need to find the slope of the line. And just remembering that slope is our rise divided by our run. Let's see if we can come up with some kind of formula here. And we know that our rise, that's how much do we go up and the y values. So what I'm going to do is essentially draw a right triangle just to make things seem a little bit simpler. So essentially this dashed line is y values of y1 and this dashed line is x values of x2. But when you do this, when you drop these lines, you end up with a right triangle. And we're essentially wondering what is the rise? So that is this part right here and the run is this part right here. So the rise is how much did we go up from one point to the next and the run is how much did we go left or right from one point to the next. So our rise, notice, is essentially going to be whatever the difference is between y2 and y1. So for instance, if this was at a y value of 6 and this is a y value of 2, then to find this rise, you would just subtract. 6 minus 2 is 4. But we want to keep it a little bit more general, so we're not going to use specific numbers here, but that's the general idea. So for us, our rise is going to be 
the top y value minus the lower y value. And then likewise for the run, it's gonna be very similar. Like if this was an x value of six and this is an x value of two, then again, you're just gonna subtract and find the difference. And for these particular values, our run would be four. But if we're thinking about it generally, then our run is just gonna be our highest x value, x2, minus our lower x value, x1. And now we can put these into the slope formula since our rise, that's this right here, is just y2 minus y1. And then our run is this expression here, x2 minus x1. And this right here, this is essentially the formula to find the slope of a line between any two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2. So this is the formula that you're gonna to use to solve most of these problems. So let's do a quick example just using this formula. And so if I scroll down, we just need two points. Let's say minus three comma four, and we'll say two comma seven. So our slope formula, we know from that previous example is that rise over run, but that was y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it's the difference in the y values divided by the difference in the x values. And to use this formula, I have to figure out what my x1, y1 are and what my x2 and y2 are. So if I call this point x2, then that would mean I have to call this point y2. And likewise, if I call this y1, then this has to be x1. So the subscripts have to be the same for any given coordinate point. And if you wanted, you could have switched this. You could call this x2 and this y2 and this x1 and this y1, but either way, you're gonna get the same answer. So as long as you're consistent, it doesn't matter which one you call which. So now plugging in the numbers, we have y2, which is seven, minus y1, which is four, divided by x2, which is two, minus x1, which is negative three, so be careful here because you're subtracting a negative. And when you're subtracting a negative, it's the same as adding. So we have seven minus four over two plus three. And then just simplifying these expressions, we get three over five. So if we were to draw a line between these two points, the slope of that line would be three fifths.